When we really understand faith, then we'll really know that we cannot escape problems and pain and trouble and destruction, death. It's all a natural phenomena of being human. Human comes from the word humo. Humility comes from the word humo, which means to bury. You bury that which is dead or destroyed or now lacks purpose for your life. And so the natural order of being human says that the phenomena of my life is not an abnormality as much as it is fundamental to me being myself. And so you know it's part of my life's purpose that I got to go through some stuff. I mean Job said in Job 14.1, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. So you know you got to go through some stuff. And the problem is not really dealing with the fact of having to go through some problems. It's the passion that I've invested. I took care of my body. Ate right. Didn't stay out and party. Did the best I could. And here I am sick. Don't drink that much. Yeah, that's about the closest to the truth in this building. Don't drink that much. All my friends smoke weed, and, but not me. I did everything that I was supposed to do, but now I'm going through. It's the passion. You put so much into it, and now you're not getting anything in return. Why me? Some of you need to understand some things are going to happen regardless. You can't stop it. It's just a part of your journey. But if it's a part of your journey, you just got to strap up your boots and roll up your sleeves and declare I'm built for this. It won't destroy me. It won't stop me. I'm going to handle it. Faith for the Christian is as much about accepting the problems in your life as natural to your journey as accepting the Jesus of history as the Christ of God. In other words, faith isn't simply about Jesus dying on the cross for my sins and I believe it, but it's also accepting that part of me being me is I've got to go through some things. And I want you to understand, even though you got some things to go through, don't look at anybody else because what they are going through is what they got to go through. What you are going through is what you got to go through. You were specially made, not just with gifts and talents, but you were specially made to go through some stuff. And if you got to go through some stuff you gotta know I was built for this I can handle this God doesn't put anything on you because God doesn't give you trouble but whether or not it comes from the devil or my own mistakes that's all right I'm built for this I was watching I'm through I was watching um, Dateline on Friday and it was an episode that showed a car uh, a first grade school teacher was in the car with a 10 month old uh, little baby girl and um, her 10 year old daughter. They were in the back seat. She was driving her sister's BMW and they were traveling in the northbound lane and a tractor trailer swerved over top of them and smooshed the car, but then the car got hooked on the tractor trailer and it drugged the car so much so that on top of a bridge, here they are now suspended over top of a, bri a bridge, 100 feet dropped to the bottom and the tractor trailer kept on going, went over the, the bridge and crash, killing the driver, burst into flames, diesel fuel burning. And so when the rescue workers got there, all the traffic has been stopped in the northbound lane. Traffic stopped in the southbound lane. And the first thing they had to do was put out the fire. They put out the fire. But here is this crumpled up car. You couldn't even tell what kind of car it was. And everybody thought that the people inside must be dead. But then they saw a woman moving and she screamed out and she let them know we are alive. 
in this mangled mess she said we are alive and so a tow truck driver began to wrap his chain around the car as best that he could because the car is literally hanging over the edge and moving back and forth and so as delicate as they tried to be over an hour worth of work they could not extricate the lady or her two children and as they stood there Realizing that there's nothing else we can do. This car is going over in just a few minutes. Some Navy soldiers were in the southbound lane. Here is a car in the northbound lane hanging over the edge. And here are some soldiers who are traveling in the southbound lane. And they were caught up in the traffic jam. And they said, we think we got something that can help. And there was a camera on one of the firemen, so they're catching all of this dialogue live because he had a camera on top of his hat. And they were saying, you know, we were supposed to have left hours ago. We should have been past this point hours ago. But we were backlogged and we had so many delays, three different delays kept us. And if, had we not been delayed, we would not even be here. But we have something on our cargo. It's a forklift that was made for this because because everybody was saying that 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 the car is at such an angle we can't just get a forklift down it's got to be able to twist it's got to be able to turn and then it's got to get up under the car and hold it so we can begin to work on getting the people out of the car and the man said we got just the thing it does all of that and and, and so notice now notice notice they should have been gone should have been by but got held up got delayed and they wasn't even supposed to have the forklift it was told you you got to take this to the next location so now they got a forklift they've been delayed and here they are in the southbound lane had they been in the northbound lane they could not have helped but here they are in the southbound lane stopped at the right time in the right location and so they unloaded that forklift, it came on down, and then they began to, to, to wiggle it around, and it moved around and got up under the car. Now notice the car is about 3,000 pounds, but this thing was made to handle 11,000 pounds, and so it wasn't a question of whether or not we can hold the car. The question is what you want us to do with the car now that we got it. And so they said, all you got to do is just hold the car steady. So they held the car steady. They began to cut that car loose. And the little baby who was in the car, the mama thought the baby was dead. And the baby was just asleep, slept through the whole wreck. They got the 10-year-old girl out, and then they got mama out, and everybody was praising everybody because everybody did their part. But it was the good news that when things got their toughest, when it looked like all hope was lost, then comes a major forklift that can handle more problem than what was on the bridge. I'm just trying to help somebody to understand, I don't care what you're going through. God never said it was going to be easy, but God said, I'll be right here with you. Why don't you look at your neighbor and tell him neighbor I don't care what you're going through God is able and he'll carry you through he may not come when you want him to come <laughs>